Hello, in this video I'm just going to uh, walk through how to upload a video onto Process Arts, um, a, um, a video direct onto Process Arts, or maybe a third party video that you're embedding from YouTube or Vimeo or one of the other uh, video host sites. So first of all we need to um, log in, so if we click the login tab and then you enter your UAL username and password. This is the same information you used uh, to access your email or your Blackboard site. You do, you do not need to enter this information just to view content. This is only for uploading um, content onto Process Hub. So I'll click Login. This uh, logs in and it goes straight to my profile. Um, if you don't know how to uh, fill out your profile, then please look in the help section down here. And there will be a little tutorial in there on how to um, upload a thumbnail and put some information in. So, this is Process Hearts. Uh, this is the front page. Up here is the Create Content tab. We click that, you can see all these different options. Um, Process Arts is currently undergoing a, a, a revamp, um, so things will be change, uh, changing as uh, time goes on, uh, but the principles will be the same. So upload video here, or third party video, but we're going to upload a video direct. Okay, the first thing we need to do is add a title. So I'm just going to I'm just going to add um, this here because it's not a real video that we're uploading, uh, and just in case, it, but it will go live on the site because uh, as soon as you upload your video, um, it will go straight onto the uh, recent posts. Um, next thing we need to do is choose our video, so if we click the choose file and then select the video, I've got an example piece of video there and you'll see it's all ready to go and I'm going to hit the upload tab and you'll see the progress bar uh, saying how long it's got to go. Um, the discipline area here, um, so as you can see in this menu here, it's best to place it um, in the best position where people can find it. So this is actually a, a little example video, there's a bit of ceramics on there, so I'm going to have a look at my menu here, I can see ceramics there, so I'm just going to float down my menu and I can see ceramics there, so I'm going to select ceramics. And let's say for instance it's about slip casting. Um, I will add slip casting as well, but I can't add slip casting and ceramics uh, just by clicking. I need to hold the command key, the control key on a PC. So I'm going to hold the command key on a Mac. And as you can see, I can select multiple disciplines. Okay. So I've selected ceramics and slip casting. And that's what it will go under. And maybe it's also um, fits into another category. So I'll scroll down. And maybe it's a, an induction. So again, I'll hold the command key and click induction. And the induction is at CCW. So I'll do that as well. So I've got four categories associated with this. As you can see, I've just started to add ceramics in there and it came up with a tag. So this is the tag area. Um, and it's really good for um, helping people find the information that you want. So it might So it's a good idea to add as many tags in there as uh, possible if you can. As you can see, my video is still uploading. I'm just going to move down a little bit. And you've got your description area here. So um, you could either type straight in. Um, or what I tend to do is have it already on my Word document. So I've, got, I've just got some example uh, text here. So I'm just going to copy that, Command-C. 
and then I'm going to fire back and I'm going to paste it into here but I'm actually going to I could paste it direct or I can use the paste by paste by word little tab here folder with the blue word symbol I'm going to paste it into there and then you can see all my text has gone into there it looks a bit messy my text at the moment so um, you can also uh, paste in straight into HTML here and you can see the uh, HTML code there if you want to go and strip out any any um, unwanted uh, HTML that's gone in. Okay, you can also attach files uh, as well. So I'm going to choose a file to attach. Again, I've just got some examples here, so I'll just get this piece of text. And see, that attaches, and you've got a nice little symbol of the text there, and I might need, need another one. And this can accompany your video, so this can be, say, a handout or a bit of information about the, the video, or maybe some screen, some screenshots, pictures. Um, so I'll add a picture as well. Okay, so you can see, and I can move those around, and these will be at the bottom of the post. You can click list, uh, that ensures that they will list on the post. Okay, Creative Commons license. Um, you can learn more about this in the help section at the bottom of the menu. Um, the Creative Commons license, let me explain. First of all, your video, if you've made your video and the video is um, totally yours or whoever the people that are in your video, um, you will own the copyright for that video. Um, the Creative Commons license um, means that you if you've ever come across something on the internet and you think, oh, I'd really like to use that in my work or I'd like to use that in my teaching, um, but you're not sure, can you use it, can you not use it? So the Creative Commons kind of clears all that up and um, you you basically say to, to, to users how they can use your work. So if there's no license on it, if it's just a, a straight copyright license, then they can't do anything with it. Um, but we're on Process Arts trying to encourage the open sharing of content and repurposing of content. So um, you've got these different licenses here. Um, like I say, I won't explain them. I'll go to the help section and have a look through. Uh, the one I would recommend is either attribution, non-commercial, share alike. Uh, attribution means that if anyone uses your content, they, ha um, they must give your name to say that it came from you. Um, Non-commercial means that they can't make money out of it or um, be used for commercial purposes. And share alike means that you've sh shared it and they've used it, and that means that they should share it as well. So I'm going to choose that one. And then you've got an additional information area here, uh, attribution name, so that would be you. Or, or whoever appears in your video. Um, uh, you can put your URL in there as well. And you can put a title there. So I'll just put this as a text. Um, and then a type of license. You can choose the different kinds of um, data depending on obviously what the um, post is. This is a moving image video. And there, we're ready to go. I'll just go back up and see if that's uploaded. Yep, there you go. So I can see that my example video is already there. It's saying how large it is. Um, it's saying to list automatically. Um, I don't want to remove it. I've just uploaded it. I've got my disciplines all selected. I've got my tags. I can add tags to this later on. So I don't need to add all my tags now. And it's always good. You can come back and edit your post at any time. I've got my um, description. I've got my attached files. Uh, I've said how I would like to license this piece of work. And all there is to do now is click Save. Okay, depending on how large the video is, it might take 
um, a, a bit of time just to um, just to go through when you click save and also depends on how quick your connection is. I would uh, tr try your best to keep your videos at quite a small 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 size if you can. Um, anything so the trick is not to change the geometry of the, the objects. Really. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean that's the skill I think. And then, as I say, I've over. Um, and then you can see my text and my attachments at the bottom. And you can also see my Creative Commons license. I can um, download these uh, pictures. Or I can click on them and you can see they give you a preview of them. So the trick is not to change the geometry of the, the objects. Really. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's the skill. So the trick is not to change the geometry of the, the objects. Really. Yeah. Now the, the bottom box, which has been inverted, and you'll 